Welcome to the Saturday Update. I'm Abby Dinham. Novak Djokovic will remain in Australia while the federal court hears an appeal to his second visa cancellation. The immigration minister last night cancelled the tennis star's visa under health and good order grounds. A federal circuit court hearing late last night was watched by almost 60,000 people online. Former tennis star Sam Groth says the saga is an unwanted distraction for other players at the Australian Open. This has become so much less about the tournament and so much about Novak Djokovic. And while it is a massive story for every other player for them their focus down here their focus in melbourne is to win matches public health officials are growing increasingly confident australia will soon pass the peak of the omicron wave covid case numbers are expected to plateau the week after next new south wales will be the first state to see an easing of cases followed by victoria some aussie retailers are calling for a relaxation of isolation rules to be expanded and staff shortages continue across the sector the federal government this week eased close contact requirements for those working in essential supply chains amid growing food shortages but the australian retailers association Fleur Brown says other areas of retail are also struggling. Some businesses are saying that up to 50% of their workforce is missing in action on these isolation requirements. The aged care sector in New South Wales is calling for federal support amid surging COVID cases. The state's Nurses and Midwives Association, Shay Candice, says staff fears unless something is done to bolster resources in aged care, the next outbreak will bring a wave of avoidable deaths. Right now in New South Wales, we have just shy of about 200 facilities that have got current outbreaks. So this is a real life problem right here, right now. In Victoria, health authorities say two new Medi hotels designed to treat COVID patients won't exacerbate healthcare staff shortages. Hotel quarantine sites, the Pullman on Swanston and the Mantra in Epping, are being converted to treat more than 300 low care level patients. The health department's Adam Horberg said staff won't be removed from hospitals. We'll concentrate the staff who need to be in our hospitals in the hospitals and the hospital in the home teams who normally work out in the community. They will be the staff who will help to support these two hotels. Overseas, Ukrainian government websites have been targeted in cyber attacks, causing foreign ministry sites and others to display dark screens with the warning, be afraid and wait for the worst. The country's information ministry says initial data suggests the attack was carried out by the Russian Federation. Downing Street has apologised to the Queen for two staff parties on the night before Prince Philip's funeral. A spokesperson for Prime Minister Boris Johnson says it was deeply regrettable the gatherings took place at a time of national mourning. To sport, Australia ended Day one of the fifth Ashes Test in Hobart, six for 241. Travis Head notched up his fourth Test century. David Warner and Steve Smith both out for ducks. In the tennis, the Nasi Kokonakis defeated Marin Cilic last night in a dramatic third set tiebreak to advance to the final of the Adelaide International. While reigning French Open champion Barbora Krejcikova is through to the final of the Sydney Tennis Classic. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of the update.